here we go. Um, this is a new video for me, for my channel, and uh, it's about a, it's about the game Townscaper, and I don't know if you guys have heard of it, it's somewhat new. Um, I'm using it to make a map for a D&D game I am DMing. Um, this city is, as you can see, like where my mouse is moving, it's a segment of a larger city with a wall up on the top and like a curving wall down at the bottom. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is start laying down some floor. This is a part that always takes like a really long time. Um, it's kind of fun. You can do little patterns and stuff. Um, yeah, I haven't really done a recording before, so this is kind of new to me. Uh, someone said I should do it for my channel. And, well, you're getting what you're getting. I don't have a good microphone either, so I apologize for the really bad audio quality. Uh, yeah, so I guess I'll tell you a little bit about the town itself while I'm going through this. Um, this is the last segment of a map. Uh, for a zombie based campaign I'm doing and I'll be using this uh, on an interactive zoom call and I'll be like screen sharing and using this as an interactive map we're finishing up now it's time to start the buildings uh, so I since this is the corner of a semicircular map I wanted there to be a couple spaces around the edge um, so like it's like a main road that goes around it or something uh, that white building you saw in the beginning uh, is something that I knew would be in the town from the beginning. It's a temple. Uh, I found a lot of cool stuff on the grid, a really neat symmetrical design. And I was like, all right, I'll just build a temple there. So now this area in the town is more of like an industrial district, which is why I chose these colors. It's surrounded by a wall vis-a-vis -vis Attack on Titan, which is that really tall, like five or six story wall that's surrounding it. Um, with an open area on top, which was kind of hard to do. Um, this is the current update as of late August 2020, which allowed for garden paths, which we'll see later on how that's a little bit different. Yeah, so since this is an industrial district, I'm trying to keep the tones kind of, not necessarily monotonous, but kind of bland, kind of. It's in, a district that, like, there's a lot of production, so they don't really think too much about how beautiful things are, which is why it's all the same sort of gray, stone, slate color. Except for a couple buildings like that indigo one up there and some other special ones that might be interactive. So while I'm on the Zoom call with my uh, players, what I'll do is usually have the map from an overhead perspective so they can see the roads and where they want to go. And I'll be playing a modified version of D&D 5e. So it's something I homebrewed a little bit just so that like, since it's the final session, they can do a couple like mock battles with some D6 or something instead of actual battles just to speed things up. This area right here is going to be a very large tenet of the battle, potentially the final battle. It's a very large warehouse that uh, there will be some fights in and lots of action and I wanted it to be the main focus of the town uh, so it's not quite as tall as the temple I think in the end uh, but it's very large and I'm just trying to find I wanted it to be square but the grid didn't really call for it so I just kind of made it big and open you'll see uh, the garden paths feature coming up um, yeah, in the past of when I had done that, that would have gotten rid of that grass in the middle of it. And I mean, this is like a large warehouse, so there's not going to be grass in the middle of it or shrubs or anything like that. Um, yeah, so in addition to viewing this from overhead and seeing like a little map that they can go around, see normally that would have gotten rid of all of that stuff but it didn't, and I don't want it, so I had to figure out a way to do that. Oh yeah, algorithms. 
is a really fun game. It's kind of neat to just play around in it. It's hard to plan something, so more, like, I have an idea of something instead of, like, a drawn-out map of something that I'm putting on here. And I just kind of go with the flow and see what ideas can come to fruition and put buildings where buildings fit rather than where I think they should be. Um, here I'm figuring out whether or not I should put pillars, and I decided to put a couple pillars in there in the center because I'm going to be enclosing this entire thing. Uh, yeah. I've never done a building like this with a large open area below the roof. So this is the first time I'm doing that. And it looks kind of cool so far. When I'm DMing this and we are fighting, there's probably going to be a rooftop scene. Um, but also there's going to be like an area inside of it. And since I can screen share, I'll probably have the, excuse me, um, the app open, the game open, and I'll like just erase the entire roof so they can see what's inside of it. I won't be able to place any monsters, but at least they'll like understand what it looks like and just have a general idea. Since it's over a Zoom call and I, I'm not using, um, oh boy, what's that thing called? I don't know, there's some map generator that you can use that I'm completely blanking on right now. Uh, but I'm not using that because I didn't want to pay for it, and this was a cool game that I wanted anyway. And it's just simpler, I think. I don't know. Decided to uh, take a little artistic take on this and bring the roof in a little bit. Uh, it's still a warehouse, still has a little bit of warehouse vibes, but looks like it might be more structurally sound, even though it's not. Those two buildings are on top of the pillars. They're like little outposts. Um, I guess that would be how you could get on top instead of going through from the outside. You technically can't even get into that little pillar right there, that little tower. So now that I've finished that warehouse up, I'm gonna start filling in the rest of the town that I've done. You can make it a lot larger and a little bit wider, but uh, I didn't want to make that much of a map yet. I wasn't sure how to, I wasn't sure what direction I wanted to take it. So that blue building right there, or orange building now I guess, is going to be a shop of some sort. Um, there's a green one down there that's probably going to be like a druidic alchemist sort of thing. Um, I like to take the hexagonal things, the hexagonal tiles, and turn those into usually like uh, like guard posts or some formal town building because I don't know I just think they're really cool tiles and I like to use them because they're like hexagonal instead of the square ones or pentagons or whatever um, yeah so yeah this is my first recording um, let me know what you guys think I know I've been kind of blundering through this I'm probably not gonna edit the voice much but yeah, if you guys know of any good editors for videos and for uh, audio at the same time, because I'm right now I'm recording audio on something separate and using just the generic video editor I have. But yeah, any free stuff. This is uh, the last, the last tile. So here's the town. I've finished it now. You can see overhead. There's a nice little map layout of it. You can see all the streets pretty clearly. And uh, this is cool because on the Zoom call, I'll be able to interact with it and zoom in on any sort of buildings that people want to know about. And I'll be able to, to, to do, uh, oh, that's the new garden path feature that was installed on the latest 